Hey, uh, Ramadan Mubarak. My name is Amir Fofana. I am from Portland, Oregon. Hi, my name is Sara. I am a fourth year student at Oregon State University and I grew up in the United States, but I am also Palestinian. My name is Adam Rateb. I'm from the Bay Area in California. Just like this. <laughs> I have nowhere to go. Um, we are observing social distancing and shelter in place laws, which makes Ramadan an interesting experience this year. It's a holiday and a season very much centered around community and solidarity with your fellow Muslims in our fast and our prayer and our time together. But that's not really possible. <laughs> so using the tools we have is really important. Using Zoom, WhatsApp, Snapchat, People have gotten into sending things in the mail. Actually, I received a letter from uh, a family member, which was really cute and really sweet. But using the tools I have to check in on people, see how things are going, seeing if they're healthy, seeing how the fast is treating them. I plan on celebrating Ramadan this year with my family, which includes my parents and my younger sister. And that usually means that we pray together, we wake up um, before sunrise to eat together, and then we also break our fast at sunset together. This year is definitely a little different because usually I'm in Corvallis and um, usually I go to the mosque every single night, but you know, like all mosques are closed right now because of the quarantine. I am celebrating Ramadan this year in California with my family for the first time in four years because I'm a senior and usually I'm celebrating out in Corvallis because you know, usually school is going on at this time. Social distance is changing Ramadan this year a lot. It kind of is causing us to have to be really creative and exercising maximum ingenuity in how we're gonna try to pray together, how we're gonna eat together. But friends of mine and I, we've been breaking fast together using Snapchat. We've been breaking fast together using Zoom for like large groups. We've, we've been making it work. And I really appreciate that about the modern day in the United States. In light of social distancing and quarantine, this year's Ramadan will look a lot different. Ramadan is usually very um, community oriented. Um, people usually gather at the mosques or within their homes to break their fast together um, at iftar, which is the meal where you break your fast, and then also to pray the night prayer, which is called tarawih. People usually gather at the mosque um, to do that together as well. And since that is obviously not an option this year, it's very different for a lot of Muslims who are used to having those things during Ramadan um, and I know as a part of the Muslim Student Association we usually host those things during Ramadan in previous years and it's definitely an adjustment to not be able to offer those things to Muslim students at Oregon State so we are looking into ways that we can still serve um, our community while also adhering to social distancing and quarantine in such a difficult time. This year is definitely a little different because usually I'm in Corvallis and um, usually I go to the mosque every single night, but you know, like all mosques are closed right now because of the quarantine. As far as like these social distancing guidelines, like I get to be here, which for me is like a positive, like who knows like when my last Ramadan will be, you know, like, or like whatever. So it's like, I get to be here with my family and celebrate and um, just have a good time. like. When I'm here for Ramadan, my mom makes like special desserts and stuff. Desserts that like you can only really have during Ramadan because they're so special and stuff. 